Hi, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. I am so glad that you guys have been able to join me. I hope that you are staying protected in all ways, shapes and forms. Mentally, socially, emotionally, physically. Uh, one of the things that I've been thinking of right before I started your reading, Aries, was somebody needs a band-aid. You know, a band-aid to a situation. I'm not sure what that means, but that's for somebody. Okay, a band-aid to a situation. Aries, uh, I'm hearing we're going to do, yep, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, your current state of being. Um, I always look at this as text messages. Okay, so there's some communication that is going to be coming in to you I, I, with this feather in his hat. This is about, I always think of birds as communication. Oh, there's some sort of deceit, Aries. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily deceit, but this also could be someone who needs to try to get ahead. Oh, maybe they have been getting ahead and they've been stressing about this victory. All right. Somebody really needing to educate themselves here. There's kind of, um, there's a, there's a youth, a young aspect here. You guys might be dealing with a younger man, thirties, possibly Aries. Hmm judgment and the five of cups this is what's blocking you resurrection of things from the past we do have a mercury retrograde getting ready to come up um i'm somebody needs to prepare for whatever this announcement is uh maybe somebody sees it coming maybe Aries, you also have been looking back on the past recently. This Two of Clubs is, is closer to the Judgment card than the other three. So there's some form of apology here. This communication, again, a new beginning, a new start. Young love, I'm also hearing. My hand just like, yeah, young love. Tell me about um, what happened in the past here. What happened in the past for Aries? The truth. Revelation of some sort. I also feel a very dominant figure coming forth. Uh, unapologetically, somebody apologizing, but unapologetic about it because the truth of the matter was a specific way. And what it all boils down to it, abundance and opportunity and prosperity is what this person's true goal really is unapologetic mm -hmm. transformation the death card this is Pluto energy Pluto just went direct it's stationed direct excuse me um, it was tremendous for a lot of people the clarity that came with Pluto stationing direct it was enormous you know, I think on the weekly over on Instagram, I said that even certain individuals were going to have fuses lit that were taking time bombs waiting to explode because of how people need to release certain things. Making a final decision on something that is just draining and toxic. Learning that, you know, you need to do that. Wow. Knight of Pentacles, slow progress, okay? The same energy as the Page of Pentacles, but in here, uh, something's a little more, I'm so sorry, guys, I keep hitting the camera. Something is a little more steadfast, I feel. Social. Because I hope you're not laughing at me because I said I hit the camera. Yes, that was my head. Hold on. I'm gonna... Scooch over just a tad. <laughs> you don't see that in a reading every day, do you? All right, so Knight of Pentacles. I'm feeling this wants to come out. I'm not really looking at them, but I, I feel them. It just, this is like the energy of this is hop, skip, and jump into something new with this Queen of Rods, Aries. This is your energy. 
you know. I feel like this is all your energy. This may be another person. This could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with here. And maybe even a Gemini. You know, but here's the thing. You know, if we're really talking here and you're you're on the same wavelength as me, your sole purpose is shining through. I see your true colors shining through. So it's about where loyalty lies. It's about action that needs to be taken. It's about soul purpose. Where are we headed? This communication that's getting ready to come in for you, Aries. I feel some of you are just are blessed. But remember, there's a band-aid. I just heard that there's a band-aid though. What's the band-aid? Four of Cups is the band-aid. This is the outcome. All right. Somebody's not going to be very happy when it comes to how things are handled in the long run, the way things are structured, okay? Um, I'm picking up on Uranus energy at this moment, and it's probably because Virgo is in its detriment with Uranus, right? Um, or no, no, that's Neptune. That's Neptune, I'm sorry. I'm just, what I'm thinking of is the structure behind a situation where things aren't going the way you want them to. Wanting to be free of something, wanting, tell me, tell me why you're not accepting this cup here. What is it that, what's this past? Okay, there's a delay, some sort of money delay, uh, but there's also some sort of epiphany here when it comes to this energy, this waiting energy, and the clarity of mind that's going to come. You know what, and just because we all know and we all see how everyday life is, there may be some of you out here that are stepping into your power, you're sexy, you're fine, you know, you're changing wardrobes because it's fall now and you're bringing out a whole new set of clothes. Um, you got people watching, you definitely do, they're paying attention. Some of them are even like, I wish I could get with this person, I wish I could make up with this person. Yeah. But you need to find clarity in what is really going to be abundant for you. Um, it's crazy. I see a love triangle here between an air sign and possibly an earth sign with a fire sign. And that's you. You might have two options here. Look at that. But here's, another, here's a fourth person, technically. This is, this is the peak. I'm hearing the peak point and the pivotal moment of prosperity for you. This is how you are going to be taking control of a situation, especially if it's going to be in regards to finance here for some of you, the plans that you're going to be making. I told you, you're going to be stepping into something just extreme. Your other person, there's that apology, unapologetic apology unapologetic apology that's crazy <laughs> deception unapologetic apology because they really i'm kind of here i'm just the energy is whatever whatever i saw pluto pluto told me i'm getting ready to end all this the announcement came in you know i might not i just still in a state of shock of how i want to handle all of this how i want to deal with this look Two cards came out, right? Hopes and fears. This is the intuitive knowing about time invested. This is about, this is definitely about investment. Remember the harvest moon? Oh, something happened on the harvest moon. For a lot of you, the full moon. You know there's another full moon and it's a super moon, blue moon, because it's the second one within a month. That's what that means if you didn't know that. But a blue moon is actually way more intuitive and bring so much more energy. The new moon is actually going to bring something too. I feel like if you're smart about how you play this Aries, plant your seeds around the new moon. Not when it's dark, but as it begins to sprout. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. You'll get a message when you do that. You'll find a certain clarity in regards to what it is that you're trying to educate yourself on you know what is what's blocking you here judgment something coming back from the past something you regret what is this 
All right, tell me this outcome. I'm focused on this because it has to do with the outcome here. Tell me about the outcome, please. Oh, that's too much. That one's okay. Look, toxicity, there's a cycle ending on that. Page of Swords, remember, that's the message. This is destiny. This is destiny. Okay, put him back. He's like in the middle of the deck. Emperor, your own energy. Man, how successful you're going to be. They're like, don't confuse him with all those cards. Put him back. I feel like you're going to do really well. We're shuffling that because I said that he was in, that toxicity was in the middle of the deck, right? They want me to change the energy of the cards to show you something. Interesting. If you choose to stay in a situation where you're not making a decision and you're not making a choice, if you're, then there will be a delay here of a foundation that will bring positivity. You have to make a choice. You're ending this cycle of betrayal. You're ending a cycle. And this is mental thoughts. Parasitic energy. You're taking control of this. I feel for some of you, by taking control of this parasitic energy, it might affect your finances. And that's what your fear is. It's going to be undecided how that's going to work out. I don't know why I'm picking up here with this apology. Remember we talked about that was deception or whatever this offer is. Some of you may need to uh, take a job offer that's less. You're looking more for this type of pay, but they're only offering that. I feel like if that's the case, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy with choosing that. Mm -hmm. Look, Ten of Wands. This is all about releasing. I'm also hearing releasing ego. Remember we talked about the Band-Aid? What's the Band-Aid? Somebody needs to stop basing something on the past here. You know, this Three of Cups, you think I already have the Three of Cups, but Two of Cups could possibly be coming in if you would just listen to what Spirit is saying and re remove the toxicity. This is literally at the bottom of the deck. Remember I said, we, we shuffled it back in. They wanted you to see the energy. Release the toxicity. Oh, wow. Gemini energy, right? Five of Swords. Oh, wow. Now, normally when I see this combination, I think of deceit on a job, someone who does something for a living that is really jacked up, okay? So there could be clarity coming through about, you know, someone who does this for a living. There could be some, like a politician that's, with this combination, there's something major happening. Life shifting, life altering for society and for yourself at home, okay? Clarity coming in about what this truth is, what you were looking for, what you were searching for. A band-aid. But remember when I say every time this shows up, this shows up, it never fails. It comes out. Um... You have the opportunity to be guided here and away from this. It's the sole purpose choice. And if you choose to walk away from this negativity, right? If you, you blend this together and you say, alchemizing a situation with this past soulmate, alchemizing this situation and choosing to get rid of a foundation that was created in toxicity, it might be painful, but you know what? You're going to get through it. And quickly. Mm, Band-Aid. Band-Aid. I don't know why I keep saying Band-Aid. One on this King of Swords. Yeah, this is a job, guys. This is something that needs to be worked at. Someone who's trying to put in effort, bring in some sort of clarity here. There's going to be a truth. You have to use your intuition about how 
something is going to be working out. I see, you know what's crazy is, I see so many different scenarios. This is gonna be playing out in the home, and it's also going to be playing out in career as well, in finance. So if you see your story here, you guys should check out gecempresscollection.etsy.com. If there's something here that you feel I didn't touch on or I just barely touched on it, because I feel that way, especially with the energy that came out here and here, with the toxicity, but being shown that spirit is here and getting ready to allow you to end cycles that don't serve you. I heard this. I heard that. Queen of Pentacles. I was like, what do you want me to clarify? I was getting ready to clarify this, but they want me to clarify this. Ooh, the plans. We saw that already. They're reminding you the plans of your abundance and how you need to be taking care of something. Here's the other deal. If you guys are dealing with somebody, yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck in their head and trying to come back and apologize to you about something. Yeah, I see that for sure. Okay, multiple options. Somebody could be apologizing for being at a crossroads in a way and confused. Aries confused about what choice they want to make but there's also for some of you if this is a job um, th there's deception around it there's deception around what it is that they're planning and they're making you wait okay so there could be someone that is losing a job here I do see that yeah you guys need to prepare you need to save your money that's what I think I was also missing with that other one. You need to plan accordingly with your funds. Oh, 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 see that's a mess. Yeah, okay, I don't like it when my cards do that, but that was Amethyst and Garnet. So open your higher mind. Yeah, Spirit Court, Spirit did that on purpose. Okay, open your higher mind to the opportunities that are being shown to you. This is synchronicities. Okay, you're on the defense about them right now because you're really thinking about your abundance, but what you're not seeing is you're more paying attention to being upset about your abundance. You need to look at the synchronicities. This because this seven of swords, no, see, seven of swords. You're not you're not seeing the truth. Okay? Something you're on the defense about this. And it could be another someone who has another lover. Um you know, you, again, could possibly be dealing with two people here. This air sign and this earth sign. Malachite. So, heart chakra. Um, the ability to see forward in clarity. There's a, a gold tint to this. Oh, look at that diamond. The clarity. There's a gold tint to this. So, blue lace. And there's going to be a conversation about union. About about how precious something really is. Um, I just heard the words performing arts. Performing arts. Somebody might be, I feel like there's a love coming in for somebody who loves dance. That's an interesting energy. Someone who's a dancer. The priceless gift of time and pressure combined. Beauty and the strength arising from trials and challenges. The right use of power. Okay, this is a diamond. Um, and it talks, it says that we are meant to work together harmoniously, giving and receiving, taking turns and sharing the work, the credit, the fun, the power of manifestation. Today, you are called to claim your power and exercise it with respect and love for all. And even those who are, who are hard to love, excuse me, especially those who challenge you. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I could see that, you know, and look how much heart is needed in order to do that. This is also, I hear like there's um something about a river. You ever hear that expression, cry me a river? Well, it's not very nice, right? And we talked about unapologetic. I feel like somebody has turned their, their head to a situation right? Again, not seeing stuff because it's like past drama, 
not seeing, also not seeing that whatever could be happening to them and they need to find clarity on it is it is a past life experience and they need to pull themselves out of that energy. It's a trigger for you to get through whatever cycle you're going through now. Yeah, I'm hearing many lifetimes ago, possibly. That's interesting. Yeah. And it might not be you. It might be this person that was stuck in it and is confused. So if, you, if you're drawn to something that was from the past, like if you keep seeing something in particular, there's history there to it. Research the history on it. Okay, and I feel like you might find an answer here about how to heal your heart and push forward uh, in that Saturnian way, that Saturn energy um, that you, you need to, and you'll find that energy to make the plans that you need to, to release this energy here. The, this is the wisdom, and then I would consider this to be... Um, you know, Sun and Gemini, the wisdom about what your soul purpose is and how you're going to move forward in that way. Okay. GEC Empress Collection .etsy .com. Please take what resonates. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I don't even think I said that at the beginning. Um, thank you all for the likes, shares, and subscribes. Vimeo extended link is below. Peace and elbow grease.